It's Monday the 22nd of May. Welcome to Afternoon Sport. I'm Dan McHugh and I'm joined by the one and only Shane Lee. Hey Dan, how are you mate? We're in, we're in Nice mate, we're in the south of France. I can't believe it, it's so surreal. And apologies guys for having my sunglasses on, but I haven't slept all weekend, to, or flying all the way to Nice. Um, but we're here mate for, for the Monaco Grand Prix this week. Yeah. And we're here mate, I'm, I'm so excited. Nice. Look at this, how good is it? It is Beautiful. amazing. I mean even just flying in here, you see the yep. whole bay, it's just... Such a beautiful place. Mate, it reminded me, um, that there was a really famous uh, UK DJ in the 60s and 70s called John Peel. And uh, one of his famous lines were, was, um, I was in Nice the other night and saw a band called Nice. Or was I nice and saw a band called Nice? Anyway, here they are. <laughs> I thought I'd just mention that while we're here, buddy. All right. Well, today on the show, we'll be talking, we'll be diving deep into the world of sport. Tennis, Premier League, NRL, AFL, Grand Prix and more. Okay, Shane, having a look at the tennis, Rybakina has won the Italian Open as the French Open looms. Yeah, it does loom, mate. Um, and she's on, on, as you said, en route to uh, the French Open. 6-4 and 1-0 in the second. Um, and Catalina retired hurt, unfortunately. So she marches through. The, the men's final's been delayed for some reason. Yeah, it's been affected by a, a whole bunch of rain delays this yeah. year. Uh, Daniil Medvedev and Holger Rune are the latest to have their match postponed. Uh, and those guys are battling it out right now as we speak. Yeah, they are, mate. And, um, and Djokovic has actually come out and saying he's been watching it closely. Um, yeah. We all know he's been injured and he's been he's been out. He hasn't been allowed to play in certain tournaments, but um, but he reckons he's got these guys covered. And he's going in. He's won the French Open twice, um, Djokovic, but uh, the trash talking starting already, mate. Yeah. Listen, you can, hear the, you can hear the F1 cars starting. Monaco this week, Dan. It, it's, I love it. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> um, I think it's quite funny. Um, um, Djokovic lost to Rune in mm. the Italian yep. Open Finals. And he's so arrogant, that bloke, that he's just like, no, nah, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to win the French Open. <laughs> Look, he, he's a superstar. And, and Djokovic now, he's getting towards the end of his career. He's in the twilight of his career. I think so. Um, and, and I think he's going to try and use every little bit of advantage that he's got. He's mentally tougher than any other sportsman, I reckon, in the world at the moment. Um, and, he, and the trash talking will start to work in his favour. And you've got to back yourself. Having yeah. a look at the Premier League, Manchester City won the Premier League for the fifth time in six seasons after second-placed Arsenal lost 1-0 at Nottingham Forest on Saturday. Arsenal have capitulated, haven't they? Um, and I think I mentioned the other day, it was one of the funniest uh, things I saw on Instagram where it was a, a relay race. Uh, the first guy takes off, he's winning by 100 metres. The second guy takes off, he's winning by 100 metres. Third guy, the fourth guy takes off and runs backwards. And that was Arsenal's season. It sure was. <laughs> that sort of folded in the last but, yeah, uh, but, couple so, of weeks. So, so they get the three-peat um, and, and a great season for Man City. All right, well, we're, we're going to take a quick break, but in a moment we'll be talking AFL, NRL and Grand Prix. Yes. Shano, it was some classic games this weekend for the AFL. Uh, what were your favourite games to watch? Well, my, my Swans won for starters. Um, so I, I had my had the NRL notes there, but um, the Swans won. Um, let's not get too carried away. It was against uh. North Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we only won by three points, right? So um, the Swans got there in the end. But the celebration in the change rooms afterwards when they sang the, the team song, uh, you yeah, um, know, it was, was unbelievable. I thought it was fantastic. And uh, here come the thunder <laughs> here from the, the sky. Yeah, that's it, mate. But some other really, really big games there. Collingwood still top of the table. Uh, they defeated Carlton, whose season's just gone from bad to worse. It's depressing because I'm a Carlton fan well, and this was the year. Yeah, but it's, it's going to be the year every year, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it is for and, Carlton. And, and it never they... happens. And, um, you know, Sam Mitchell, like everyone's going, will he, will he ever get out of puberty, this kid? <laughs> and start to play some big games. There's injuries galore. Uh, but 85 to 57. Um, some other games to mention. The Hawks. The Hawks now, who have had a pretty poor season, smashed West Coast. They, they are appalling. 142 to 26. Um, one of the big That's games for me, Frio beating Geelong. Now, Geelong's been a bit on a bit of a march in the last, they won the last four games in a row. Four or five in a row um, went down to Frio, 106 to 77, um, and a team that I really picked at the start of the season in Adelaide, the Crows, who performed pretty well, actually went down to the Bulldogs, 85 to 40. So, a bit of an upset there for me. 
Uh, I think our mate Danny McGinley will be happy with that. Yes, he will be very happy with that, mate. Uh, let's move on to the NRL. Having a look at the games this weekend, I know which game you're going to yes. want to talk about the most. Oh, when the Dragons Saints versus Roosters. You're marching in. Oh, when the Saints. Mate, how good was that? Um, it was It was the last minute try to get there. It was um, It was Matt... Um, Fang guy who, who scored in the dying seconds um, and just to see the heartache on the Roosters um, players' faces was enough for me. Um, I'd give it up on the Dragons this year, to be honest, and, uh, and I thought they performed so well. Um, Anthony Griffin, it always happens. When the coach gets sacked, in comes the assistant coach, yeah. uh, Ryan Carr, yeah. and he wins the first game. It always happens. So 24 to 22 in the dying seconds, Dragons over the Roosters, unbelievable. What about the Tigers this weekend? Well, is this, a, is this match fixing? It's, it was 66, let's get this right here, 66 to 18 over the Cowboys. That's crazy. It like, is. Like the, the, the Tigers hadn't got 66 points in the last four years, yeah. I reckon. Yeah. And, and, they, <laughs> and they pretty much put that on in the, in the last game. Um, an unbelievable effort from them. A couple of other games to mention. The Storm, 24 victory over the Dolphins, 16. I thought the Dolphins played pretty well. But uh, as I expected, I, I thought the, um, the Storm would get there. The Bulldogs finally had a win. A bit of a lucky win, to be honest, um, over the Titans, 20 to 18. Um, but, yeah, and then if you go down, let's go back to, to the Tigers game. Yeah, I was going to say, we need yeah. to talk more about that. So, so, so Brooks, they reckon, is back. And, and Sheens has come out and said, fuck Twitter. <laughs> don't, don't listen to them. You're the man. Well... Okay, let's see, how he, let's see how he shows up again next week. Yeah, but what do you think's happened in there at the top? Is it actually the Tigers have improved or have other teams maybe gotten a few injuries, a, a little bit tired as we're halfway through the season? Look, sometimes it takes a while for, for a team to click and, and I always believe in sport, it's about belief. Yeah. And, and clearly they've won a couple of games now. Yeah. But to go from just winning to smashing the Cowboys 66 to 18, yeah. that's off the charts. So... The next, the next game's a big one for them. See how they go. Yep. Yeah. Before we get too carried away. I think away. there's a big see yeah, how there they is. go there. You know what? So we're sitting here in Nice, yes, we France. Are. We're just a stone's throw from Monaco. Yeah. We'll be delivering content from the scene of the Monaco Grand Prix this week. It's very exciting, Shane. Mate, very, very exciting. Um, some of the people, we're going to be doing on the back of a super yacht, Dan. So we're, we're working really tough, right? Yeah. I said to my wife, Lorraine, I have to leave. I have to go to work. It's going to be tough. <laughs> we're going to be working off the back of a super yacht. But, look, potentially we're talking to guys like Robbie Williams. Uh, he's going to be on the boat. Yeah. Uh, Lionel Messi, who's an investor in the fund. Yeah. Um, uh, and a number of other Formula One race car drivers. So it's, it's going to be a wild week, and um, we're going to be working hard and bringing you live. But sport, but sport right from the heart of where it's coming from, Dan. Yeah. That's what we do in afternoon sport. Speaking of sport, yeah. I haven't had a run in about 10 years. Yeah. And I landed in Nice. Yep. And I thought, I'm going for a jog. How'd you go? I, I did. I ran all the way to the end of the bay yep. okay. and beyond and back. I okay. did a couple of weights at the gym. Yep. So I'll, should I get the wheelchair for you tomorrow morning before we <laughs> it's leave? It's going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt, mate. Hey, well done today. That was good. We're All both right. tired. That's it for Afternoon Sport. Make sure you hit follow or subscribe wherever you listen. Thank you to our sponsors. Yeah, Elite Bet, the only betting app you'll ever need. And by the way, if you're having your bet on the Monaco Grand Prix, get on Elite Bet. They've got really good odds. All right. Well, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow with your daily dose of sport. We'll see you then, guys. Take care.